Alright folks, wanted to give you a quick uh, sort of overview of my new air compressor. Since I've moved into my new apartment, I uh, wanted to get an air compressor that was quieter, that I could use at all hours of the day and not worry about disturbing the neighbors and it was just a more permanent solution. I uh, didn't really have the luxury of space of buying a sort of normal compressor and building a soundproof box around it. Um, also was concerned uh, about the heat implications. I think sometimes there's a, a little bit of a risk of, of fire there, uh, at least if you don't do it right. So I uh, found a company called Sil Air that makes air compressors that I, I believe use a piston style uh, compressor pump that is similar to that in a refrigerator. It's definitely not a rotary screw, but uh, it's incredibly quiet. And so this was pretty much the solution. The problem is that they are, they are a bit more expensive, quite a bit more than your normal equivalent horsepower and size air compressor. So I ended up going with this one, which is the Sil Air fi uh, 50, which is a half horsepower, one and a half gallon tank air compressor. Um, they, they sell new from the company, which is based in Texas, for about $900. Which is, which is a pretty large amount of money, so I was excited that I found this one on eBay, uh, which was a risk, but uh, the price was, was about was a less than half off, and the seller agreed that um, I would have a three-day window upon receipt of the item to make sure it was working okay, so I thought it was certainly worth the risk. It did, did cost a bit to ship it and insure it, but uh, still well ahead, and sure enough, the unit has arrived, and I've got it. Uh, all set up just the way I think works quite well for my, my home shop here. Uh, I'm going to rearrange it in the corner or sort of out of the way, but while it's out and I think I've got the actual setup of it, wanted to give you an overview of, of how it's going to work. So here's the compressor. Like I said, built-in half horsepower and then built-in gallon and a half tank. Um, as, as most folks know, the problem with piston compressors is you can't run them continuous. I think the advice that they say is to let them run, um, as long as they're running, they need to have the equivalent downtime before they uh, start charging up again. This one has a set uh, charger. When it, the pressure hits 80 PSI, it'll charge back up to 125. So the problem with a one and a half gallon tank is that it doesn't leave you uh, much airflow or CFM before it charges again. So the solution I came up with was to plumb in a Home, uh, Home Depot 11 gallon external tank. Only costs about $35 and uh, the great thing about this is that uh, not only is it a much larger uh, holding tank but I can charge it up, seal this tank off um, and, and it can hold air you know as long as it needs to without really leaking much and, and not worrying about it as much. Uh, as I understand that you're not supposed to really leave air in these tanks because of the risk of the moisture causing rust and, and just obviously this is you know a much more expensive unit than that so um, happy to you know happy to store air in this and be able to clean this or discharge air out of that as needed so here's the setup the air comes out here and it comes up to this T that came from the um, from the factory I think that's a, a release or a, a safety valve in case it hits too high PSI. So here's my first shutoff ball valve. I'll explain the shutoff ball valves in a second, why I've got them where I've got them. So it comes up here, hits a T, and here is my, uh, this is 3 8 inch OD quarter inch inside diameter tubing which connects to my 11 gallon external tank. So it just hits on a three-way T there and then I split it here to, I'll show it from this angle, from two different uh, or to two different regs. This regulator has your standard uh, quick release on it, which is I'm going to use primarily for my uh, quick release hose, which I've just got a gun nozzle on for you know just blowing air, or cleaning out stuff, and general usage. However, I do sometimes also use a small uh, uh, small airbrush setup for. Uh, painting and for Duracoat. So I've also got a uh, quick release nozzle with a the threading that fits my air hose gun um, uh, uh, line, which is quite convenient. I can you know regulate the pressure down to uh, the pressure that requires, which is quite low. And then this one over here 
is a, another regulator, and this is actually going to connect, I think, to a fog buster. I haven't purchased anything yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to purchase the fog buster, which is a, uh, you know, milling machine equipped uh, mister, but sands the fog. It'll um, hook into my controller, I believe, with a solenoid valve, which means my uh, M codes can, can control it, and that'll be the primary thing I use in conjunction with the lock line on my mill when I'm milling, which is definitely the primary use for the air compressor. Um, so the reason I've got all the ball valves is the following. Um, obviously the top two are simply to use or not use the respective um, devices. If I don't want the fog buster or if I don't want anything coming off of the quick connect end, I can just turn those off. The reason I've got the lock line here is so that I can shut off and isolate the 11 gallon tank which is what I'll do a lot of times, is I'll charge uh, this tank up, get it up to pressure, and then I'll close that ball valve. And what that'll allow me to do is to go ahead and discharge the uh, air compressor's holding tank down so that I can, you know, take better care of it, and then, but at the same time, keep pressure in my tank. The tank also has a shutoff valve here, which I thought might be useful in case I need to disconnect the hose or something and, and not lose all my pressure. The whole setup takes about 12 minutes to come to pressure at 125 PSI. That's compared to about a minute and a half if I'm just using the gallon and a half tank. Um, the reason I have the ball valve here was a sort of last minute idea of if I've emptied out this tank and it has no pressure in it, uh, which will be how I normally leave it, but I've got full pressure in that, and let's just say I need a little bit of air for something and I don't want to say turn the compressor on, I thought what I'd do is shut this off turn my tank, uh, auxiliary tank on, and now I can use the pressure from the 11 gallon tank without having to backfill uh, this gallon and a half, which will obviously have been empty and it will you know, reduce my PSI and I'll sort of lose that air unless I recharge it or use it all. Um, so we'll see if I use it. I think I actually will um, because obviously I don't want to, uh, you know, I want to be careful with not overusing the, or overworking the motor as much as possible and uh, inevitably I think this setup is going to leak a little whereas I'm hoping that the 11-gallon uh, tank will, will do a better job of holding PSI over, over time as needed. So that's the setup. I'll be sure to post more when, uh, when I get the fog buster or whatever I use um, for the CNC setup, but uh, so far it's great. And just as a last uh, tutorial, I thought what I'd do is um, show you how quiet it is. All right, I've got my uh, gun nozzle hooked up here. And the great thing is if you can see the gauge here, as I'm releasing air, I've got, it, I've got it set to about 30 PSI. You can see that it's not moving that needle qu too quickly, which obviously helps because I'm drawing off a 13 gallon uh, supply of air instead of just the gallon and a half here. Um, so certainly helps there. I'm gonna go ahead and run it down to let the compressor kick back on so you can hear it. So now the compressor is running. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to sound on YouTube. I know sometimes the the way audio levels come through is a bit funny, but um, far quieter than even normal conversation levels. So uh, you can't even hear it in the next room and certainly can talk over it uh, just fine without raising your voice. So frankly, it's pretty cool.